kids are just doing their morning workout for Saturday morning. Um, and this is the weather, like I said, the weather's cleared up a lot now. So it's ideal for doing this. But here we have my camera. Now, these are the standard batteries that you get. And they're pretty good for photography. And uh, I find that the battery life, if you're taking just photos, I can charge this and it'll last two, three months, no problem, um, for just day-to-day -day photography. I'm not on about going out and taking several thousand pictures in one go. But here we have this little device here that replaces your battery. Basically what you've got is a connector that, that converts this, well it goes onto a transformer, which will take it, let's have a look at the voltage on it. Um, we've got an output of 100 or 240 volts, 1.5 amps, uh, 7.4 amps, uh, 7.4 volts, 2 amps, uh, blah blah blah. So the output's basically 7.4 volts, 2 amps for my camera. So what I do is, you, I've got this power connector, and I've gone down the route of getting a power inverter. This is a power inverter that hooks up to my car battery. And one of the things I recommend is not going too big on these um, because you do not want to damage your battery or your wiring. Just go for something that's within reason. Uh, I'll just put it like that. Um, I'm not going to actually specify what people should be using <coughs> in case they have the wrong size for their car. But this one's a 500 watt. It's basically... Uh, 12 volts, well it's, yeah, it's 12 volts DC to 220 volts out. Um, it's got a USB, it's got uh, power, if there's issues, blah blah, there's LEDs, on off switch, which is very important. And this cable, you can actually change, you can actually go direct to a battery. The other reason I chose this setup is I can convert this straight to a solar panel. This is my power, and basically I plug this in here. Um, as you can see, it's... Uh, let's go. Come on. There we go. This is the German type fitting, um, which fits in there nicely. Uh, obviously, the UK one has this third pin, for which is your earth, but Germany, etc. doesn't need it. Um, Spain's another... They're the round plugs here as well. So there's a, diff there's a different one they have here. But I, I remember using these in Hong Kong. Uh, so yeah, this is, let's just call it a European fitting for a better name. Because uh, Thailand's are different. Philippines is different. Um, but basically what you've got, how it works, is you plug this into your car cigarette lighter or go direct to the battery because maybe you've got a secondary battery that you're using that goes in there gives me output converts this down to this this then drops into the bottom of my camera let's try and do this without dropping anything let's open the camera just to show you how easy it fits in make sure the cables on the top not where the lock is um, it gets caught in it obviously it doesn't fit that way and you just push that in like that and connect this as is and it'll all work really nicely. And does it work? The answer is yes, of course it works. Um, but that is my setup for giving me power when I'm out and about. Um, you know, ideally, I'd, it'd be nice to be sat with me van like this tripod and everything set up here and I could have as much video as I wanted I've got plenty of memory cards and if I had the consistent power then that would be even better which is what we've got now but that's my time-lapse setup and I know somebody's gonna go well why don't you just convert that directly from the car battery down to the 7.4 volts that is required for this for the camera um, as I said before I'm looking at getting a solar panel and the solar panels generally work on 12 and 24 volts and the inverter doesn't only get used for the camera I also plug my laptop in here 
So it's got more than one function, which is why I've gone for this setup. All right, thanks for watching.